so today I want to talk about Arena Commander and kind of with the new changes coming out. Now I've been jumping into Arena Commander quite a bit recently because I've had some problems playing in the PU with this last patch and um, I want to be a better combat pilot and as of right now I kind of suck at combat pilot at least six compared to these guys in Arena Commander but I think there's some major issues in Arena Commander and so today I kind of want to talk about my hopes for what's going to change in the game so first I'm going to go over kind of the the issues that I see first of all there's just not a lot of people so you just always are fighting the same like I can't tell you how many times I hop in and it's the same people and they're over and over and over again it gets kind of boring and <clears throat> I'm rarely able to get somebody at the same skill level as me and even if I do since free free for all modes the only one I can find with people in it typically uh, one of us usually gets dogpiled and killed so it's just kind of frustrating because either I run into somebody who's not as good at me as just jumping in to see what it is and I kill them pretty easily or I run into somebody way better than me that just smokes me and I rarely have somebody at a similar level at, to me so I can try and improve my flying essentially. Uh, the next one is like I said before uh, free for all is basically the only mode I can find in Arena Commander so <clears throat> it's kind of frustrating because I would like to do some 1v1s or 5v5s, but I'm sure I would have to find some streamer or somebody who's doing that and just jump in with them and to get that type of stuff. Also, renting the ships really makes it hard for newer people to jump into it because there's no way, like the way to earn credits, is either you can subscribe and earn some credits that way, which is kind of lame, or you gotta play the game and if your ship that you bought isn't competitive like I don't know you bought the mole is your main ship like you're not gonna be able to earn credits in the game and you're forced to buy some if you want to play arena commander at all also the maps don't do a great job of having a centralized point for people to fight in so I'd like to see some improvements to that but I think a big thing that they could do to improve this, and I hope they do, is add kind of a ranking system so you're getting in with people who are a similar skill level to yourself. Like, if I'm jumping into 1v1, it's not going to put me up against a super sweaty PvP pilot. If there's the option, I'll get somebody closer to my skill level, something like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I think Star Wars Squadrons, it didn't show the rank, but it definitely had a ranking for you, and it would put you in with similar pilots so if you're a bad pilot you'd be matched with other bad pilots and you wouldn't just be out there getting smoked all the time so I think that would be great for ex new people or people like myself trying to improve jumping in be a much better experience than just getting smoked by a bunch of sweaties in there killing everybody another thing is I would like to maybe make it easier to see what kind of games are people are playing it's like if you can see if a bunch of people are queued up for 1v1 or 5v5s you could do that or like the free-for-all or whatever you could kind of see all the modes and see if there's people doing that and you could jump in and kind of get a variety of games I think that would be very helpful so that you're just not stuck doing free-for-all all the time I would also like to see the renting ships or weapons be different like I, maybe you can earn some of these the arena commander currency in the PU or something along the lines of maybe when you first jump in you got some free rentals in case you your ship's a mole or a prospect or something that's just not competitive and you're just gonna go out there and get smoked so I'd like to see something to just make it easier for new people to get into it and I know they said they're redoing the maps but I hope they uh, do something where it just kind of funnels everybody into a similar spot to a uh, PvP in so that not everybody's spread out. You're not spending a whole bunch of time flying across the map hunting for people or just anything like that. I, like I don't know if any of you played Squadrons, but Squadrons just does a pretty good job of having pretty localized combat fights with some obstacles that you can fly through to try and get people off your tail if you get teamed and stuff like that. So I think that would be cool. I think they also instead of just having a big box area or a sphere, I'm not sure exactly sure what Star Citizen has. They have more kind of a rectangle or an oval or something so you can't. So they kind of keep you all in the same field. I know it's not like realistic for space, but I think that would be something to, that would make <coughs> uh, Arena Commander a little bit more fun. But most of all, I hope with this update, they bring a lot more people into Arena Commander so I'm not fighting the same people over and over and getting smoked by them. I hope, and I hope that it continues to have more people in it because 
I think it's probably the best way to improve your fighter pilot skills at the game because you can just go match after match after match or whatever and continue and not have to worry about fees, waiting for insurance timers or anything like that. You can just continue to improve and, and play the game. <clears throat> so kind of in conclusion to all that, I'm really excited for the arena commander changes they have talked about and I'll, I'm definitely going to be playing it quite a bit when they come out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you have any other ideas or what you want to see out of Arena Commander, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.